Hey, what's going on, Alan's buddy from Capstrano Volkswagen, the sales and internet manager. Just wanted to send you this video of the 2022 Tiguan uh, SDL R line. This thing is beautiful. Uh, love the wheels on this car, but you always can upgrade. Uh, this one is the newest of the news. So you kind of got the little bit nicer front end. I love the lights on the car. Uh, with the IQ package, it actually stays inside the lines much better with the lane assist. I uh, also have the adaptive cruise control on the car, and in the front you also do have the uh, newer lights like the uh, Cross Sport and the adaptive front steering uh, lights as well. Uh, so if you go down a hill, they'll uh, point up. If you turn right, they will turn right before you turn. Um, so it does all that great stuff. Uh, the newer one also does have remote start, which is really nice. So if you actually lock it and hit uh, the circle button twice, it actually starts the vehicle so you can actually start it inside the houses, which is pretty nice. Did not have that on the previous model. Uh, and of course, when you unlock the car, um, it's going to be ready when you get to the car. Or if you just walk over to the vehicle, now you can just hit the black button on the door. When you open up the car, the mirrors will actually go down as well when you start the vehicle. Since it's in just remote right now, um, it's up, but if you unlock it, the mirrors come down. Something that the SCL did not have last year as well. Uh, you have memory seats. Uh, usually the premium had that. Uh, you also have uh, the white stitching on the seat, which is much nicer uh, than the previous model. Looks more of a sportier seat. So got it on the door. Fender sound system, 560 watts with the sub at the back. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Wireless. Uh, the navigation's inside this. They also switched out the air controls. Look way nicer. And also a uh, brand new steering wheel with the new logo on the car. Automatic lights, of course. The R-Line does have the racier pedals to the car. Uh, one thing that they did switch for 2022 as well. Uh, the power rear gate came standard in the SCL, but uh, last year you had to spend money to put the uh, third row back in the car. They pulled the third row out altogether in this uh, all-wheel drive. So no matter what you get with this all-wheel drive, you'll never see the third row. So you actually had that extra room in the back. This one has the rubber mats. This one has the Velcro blocks. This one also has the first aid kit. And of course the spring-loaded seats that bring down the seats automatically. Then you can just jump into that second row and lock them down. You also do have a grocery bag holder right here. Um, the back hitch is height adjustable, so you can put it at whatever height you want to. Uh, also has pinch protection on the back, and I do love the new logo on the back. Yeah, the R-Line's way sexier. Uh, panoramic roof, the whole top of the car. I'll go inside as well. Just wanted to give you a good shot of the outside first. Of course, gotta tint that front window to match it out, make it look better. Front, I can't get over the front end. It looks just insane. All right, so if I go inside, new R-Line badging. All right, let me go inside. Let me refocus this. All right, so inside this Tiguan, you kind of get to pick when the thing's off, which watch display you'd like to have better on the car uh, when it's on. Unbelievable sound system now compared to the regular one that's on the car. Uh, media, Bluetooth, audio, streaming. Now it's a built-in wireless charger down here and your Apple CarPlay is wireless. Uh, now this one has the navigation system built inside, of course. So when you're looking at the navigation system here, you could actually display it on this side. So if you hit this, display and cluster, it slides over here. There's plastic all over this car. It is brand new. All right, so you can get it like that and also have the speedometer, tachometer on the right and left. Um, if you go full view right here on the steering wheel, it gets rid of the speedometer, tachometer, it gives you the full navigation, uh, which is really cool. Um, if you go back to the navigation over here, um, by hitting these buttons here, have the nav here, you can actually pick a friend's house, touch it, the screen will be like, all right, you want me to bring you there? Uh, so that's pretty sweet how the navigation works inside the car. If you're on this side, it displays 15 different things on the vehicle. Um, so if you have the view, 
you could switch to this, you could switch to having the speedometer and tachometer, or if you go to car, go to selection, go to digital cockpit, uh, then you could actually switch this with here. So if I go to view one, um, this is what I'm switching. That's changing here. So if I flip uh, the economy up to range, it's going to switch to the range. If the next one is a compass, go to compass. The next one's elevation. The next one's audio. On the right side, I'm on range. I can go to destination information, compass, uh, elevation. So it's pretty insane because you have so many different views and so many different ways you could set it up. Uh, when my wife had the digital dash, uh, she just wanted the um, radio station, uh, digital speed, and uh, the nav in the middle. So, I mean, you can customize it any way you want to. Um, that's a great thing about Volkswagen. Also, in the middle, you can have your audio, your telephone, uh, vehicle status, what's going on. This does have the auto start stop, so when you stop, it'll shut down. Um, if you uh, turn the steering wheel, it will actually activate it again. Um, if you want the AC to stay on, um, a lot of people don't understand what start stop. If that shuts down, engine starts down, it stops pulling the cold air. So just twist your steering wheel and it'll activate it again. Uh, also, if you go over, uh, driving data is pretty much what I love because then when you go up and down, besides speed, um, you can pretty much see anything you want, even that um, digital speed right in the middle or road sign since it's the SDL, you pick what you want. Uh, being a guy, love the wallet holder down here. Automatic lights, also have the fog lights with this car as well. All you'd have to do is pull this and the fog lights are activated. One touch from all these positions from your window and their pinch protection as well. Also, what I like about the R-Line is it has a black roof line. It actually makes it more like a cockpit on the inside. It makes it sportier. Um, the sunroof does have a shade. I don't know why you'd have it shut especially with the sunroof this large on top of the car. My wife just bought his house with no sunroof. Can't believe it. Uh, but I have the TIG one with the full sunroof, so my daughter loves that one for sure. So it goes back to there. This full uh, glass tilts open, or it opens all the way up if you want it to open. If you're studying the shade, the shade does not go past the window. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It doesn't go past the sunroof. So if you're shutting the sunroof like this, it won't pass it. So you actually have to shut this fully to get the full shade on top. If you wanted it shut, mine's fully open all the time. Um, L, uh, beautiful car, man. Uh, if you hit your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, of course your phone is wireless to the car, like I said. Um, you have a self dimmer mirror, mirror. Uh, it's frameless. Uh, if you have boys behind you with lifted trucks, um, instead of turning the mirror, it will put a green film across it so it's soothing for your eyes. Um, also, if it starts to rain, automatic windshield wipers will come on and garage door opener built on the bottom with the built-in compass. So uh, a lot of upgrades and your car net is free inside the vehicle, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this is the new uh, air control that I was telling you about. I hope you can get the colors in there. It looks really nice. You can slide. We kind of got this air control from the ID4. So instead of tap, tap, tapping, which you could still do, you could slide on everything, even on the hot and the cold, which is pretty sweet. Uh, L, this is all wheel drive, of course, uh, for motion. Uh, so if you hit the mode button right here, you get to switch between the different uh, driving modes. Normal, uh, you got sport, you got custom, and then you do have eco. Uh, the cool thing about custom is when you hit custom, you're able to adjust it. So for steering, you can go to sport, uh, drivetrain, you can go to eco sporter, uh, adaptive cruise control, you get to pick all of them, climate control, uh, eco and normal, uh, or reset the system all together. So it is pretty insane. Uh, if you're going to uh, dirt and sand, of course, you're able to switch it or to snow. You're able to pretty much put it on whatever uh, terrain that you are on. So a lot of great options with the Volkswagen. Uh, let me know what's up, man. Also, don't forget about the amazing uh, backup camera that I do have. Um, it also has uh, parking sensors on the car as well. And also, you could also do a full bird's eye view on this bad boy if you wanted to. You're going to hit the parking uh, uh, button right here with the mirror, uh, with the camera, and it's going to give you the full view of each vehicle front, back, and side. So if I wanted to go just to the right camera, I'd hit just the 
right side and it goes just to that camera. Back to the top of the car, I just want to see the back. Go back, it just goes to the back. Also, if you have a boat or anything like that, if you're backing anything up, it helps you with that. Um, and pretty much lets you know where everything is at. If you have a baby in the car and you're backing up, I also have something that can mute uh, the uh, parking sensors. So if you're getting close to a car, I got a button you can do that will pretty much uh, mute that all together. Uh, the reason why you do that is if you have a baby sleeping in the back and you did not want to hear the beep anymore. Now you're still six inches away from the object. <laughs> this car has everything. It also has self-park, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you hit this button, it will uh, self-park for you um, in a parallel spot. Uh, the streets or anything like that that's really nice to show people and you do have an electronic parking brake with the uh, Kessie system keyless access system because it has the uh, push button start as well All right, man one more shot on the outside for you I love it when the car comes up you open the door spins around pops open the door. That's pretty cool All right, Al. sorry I've been running my mouth so much man passionate about the car. Uh, I've been working here actually for 20 years uh, I've been selling Volkswagens, uh, I've had tons of Passats, uh, I even had a Routine at one point which is crazy, and then back to Passats and 20 inch wheels, this is my first Tiguan, freaking love my car everywhere I go, people are like nice Audi, I'm like ah actually it's a Volkswagen, uh, but uh, 22 inch uh, on mine, uh, lowered it, I put my friend's GTI springs on it, it actually lowered it really nice, tinted out the front window, well I can't even go over the list, I've done tons of things to my car, uh, different lights, um, the box on the inside, too many things on the inside. Uh, but hey man, hit me up. Let me know what I can do for you. Uh, Volkswagen's a pretty amazing car. I'm pretty sure the black one's gonna be really sick when you get that one all tricked out. Um, I got the white tips that I gotta do on both sides of my car. Um, instead of this gray right here, I go to like the Volkswagen car shows and stuff like that. They're pretty sweet. Uh, but hey man, hit me up. Let me know what I can do for you, bro. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Take care, buddy from Capo VW, 760-415-6331.